Matthew 28. <clears throat> At the end of the Sabbath, so this is why everybody was all hurry. This is the weekly Sabbath. Passover at this time of the year of the Gospels was a high day. It was the middle of the week Sabbath. The Passover was a Sabbath too. You couldn't, you didn't do no work. As it began to dawn, so the sun's just waking up, kind of breaking the Sabbath. The Sabbath hadn't come to an end yet. And here come the women toward the first day of the week. It didn't say Sunday. It don't say Monday. It don't say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The Bible does not mention the Polak, Polish, excuse me, Catholic Church calendar. The biblical time frame is First day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, or the Sabbath. Genesis chapter 1, scripture. Your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're all popish. Sunday, as UN, the sun rays, the worship of Baal, that's Catholic. So you're not going to date nothing in the Bible, according to the Polish, I mean, excuse me, Catholic Pope calendar. See, you got to take America out of the Bible because America's not there. You can't base everything on the Bible in the, uh, by the American standards. And I'm not talking about the Bible. Came Mary Magdalene, who some say had an affair with Jesus. You're going to stand before Jesus to, to mention that one. And the other Mary. Now, could that have been Mary, his mother? Could that have been the Mary of Lazarus? It just says the other Mary. Now, we talked about some Marys last time. To see the sceptre. That's quite interesting. Matthew says they come for the sceptre. We'll read in, in the other Gospels, they're like, you know, on their way, wait a minute, who's going to roll that stone away from us? And behold, there was a great earthquake. Now, there was an earthquake when Jesus died. It ripped the veil into two. Now there's an earthquake. And the earthquake rolls the stone away. The angel of the Lord, that's Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. We're at the first day of the week. It's been three days and three nights. Jesus shows up, is preformed, according to the Old Testament, to roll away his own stone. Descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. As, you know, rolls away and is sitting there. Right? Do, do, do. Okay, they should be here pretty soon. Where's the disciples? After all the times he told the disciples what would happen to him, and it would be three days, the third day. Now the women are coming not for the resurrection. They're coming to finish the deeds to what to do with a dead body in the wrappings. That's because they couldn't finish it on the Passover. Because everybody had to get ready for the Passover. His countenance, his, his facial expression, his face was like lightning. It, it, it didn't, you know, he didn't have this glow around his head all through his life, and marrying all them. <clears throat> his raiment white as snow. You find that in Revelation 1. You found that on the mountain of transfiguration. For fear the keepers, that's the men that were hired. To watch the tomb to make sure the disciples did not come and steal the body. Did shake and became as dead men. They couldn't go anywhere. 
And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not. That's Jesus' particular expression. Fear not. For I know that ye seek Jesus. He is Jesus. In his pre-incarnate form, the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord is Jesus before he gets his human body. Which was crucified. Okay, the sign, seal, and faith. Jesus was crucified. He died. We, we talked about that in the last couple of lessons. We are on the third, right now, of the three part gospel message. Jesus Christ suffered and died. He was buried, and now he's resurrected. He is not here. Where is he? For he is risen. That's the greatest news ever. And there's no bunnies or colored eggs. I think it's quite comical for 2023. I don't know what they're going to do. But eggs are so expensive. You can't. You should not get eggs to color and waste them. And he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. Remember, the rock's been rolled away. They come to see the body. They didn't come to see Jesus. They came to see the body and finish prepare the body for this burial, like they like they did with Lazarus. So come on in. He's not there. Go quickly. Tell his disciples that he's risen from the dead. So the first preaching of the gospel is by these two women to the disciples. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. He's going to meet them in Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly. <laughs> From the sceptre. So they're in the sceptre talking to the angel of the Lord. There's no body. He's risen. Go tell his disciples. With fear and great joy. And did run to bring his disciples word. Here's the resurrected Savior. Here is Christ resurrected. In Mark you're going to read. Go in all the world and preach the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection. That's what the women are doing. As they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them. Not the angel of the Lord. Jesus met them. The, the angel of the Lord is Jesus before his incarnate, before the, the human body. Jesus is God with the human body, 100% man, 100% God. He was dead. He's dead no longer, and he's still Jesus. Saying, all hail. <clears throat> and they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee. And there shall they see me. Now when, uh, me. Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city. That's the men, the, the, the guards, the keepers. Came into Jerusalem. Showed the chief priest. So the Jewish... Men, the, the keepers of the tomb are Jewish. Pilate said, you got your watch. I ain't not expending any of my men. So they come to the chief priest, Jewish, and say all things that were done. They told him everything that happened. And when they had assembled with the elders of Israel and had taken counsel, they got, they got a little meeting going on here. They gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye. His disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. 
Now, you got to say, wait a minute. They want the soldiers to lie for them. And they say, and if this comes to the governor's ears, pilot, we will persuade him and secure you. If they're going to have you lie and lie to the governor, what makes you think they're going to tell the truth if you're caught? You know, if you're going to blackmail somebody, I wouldn't get involved in blackmail because if they were to blackmail you, what makes you think they would blackmail somebody else against you? So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews unto this day. You know, we were sleeping. And, you know, I guess the disciples came and took the body. We don't know. We were sleeping. You don't fall asleep on your duty back then. You didn't go to jail. You, you died. You were executed. That Philippian jailer, when he, when, he, when he thought everybody was gone, he pulled out his sword. Then the 11 disciples, Judas is dead, went away to Galilee into the mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw them, they worshipped him, and some doubted, Thomas. And Jesus came and thanked them, saying, All power is given unto me, Jesus, in heaven and earth. Satan is still the ruler of this world, but all power. God, who is Jesus, and Jesus is God, and, and Satan will go up to him, Lucifer. Uh, Satan will go up to God. Hey, I want this person. I want to do it. No, no, you can't do it. You can do it, but this is your limitation. Go now. Okay, let's get this now. Let's look at the Great Commission. All your Baptist churches, Matthew twenty-eight nineteen, the Great Commission. I'll show you what's wrong with it. It's Jewish. It's been Jewish from all the beginning. Matthew is right into a Jewish nation of a Jewish king to, they're not going to Gentiles, but what? Go ye therefore, okay, go ye therefore, get that, before we go to Mark, and teach all nations. Okay, there's the Gentiles. There they are. A transition from Jewish to nations. Why? Because the Jewish nation just crucified him. Teach all nations. Every preacher wants to teach. Well, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, and that has all kinds of aspects in the churches. How do you baptize them? Do you say the Father, Jesus, you know, all kinds of things? That's where you make the teaching. Teaching, there's teaching again. Then to observe all things whatsoever ye have commanded you, I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So that closes Matthew. Tells the, the disciples, teach, teach. Mark 16. Mark 16. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of Jesus alone, oh, that is Mary the mother of Jesus. Salome is the sister of Jesus, the feminine name for Solomon. Remember what we told in 15? The mother of James, the mother of Jonas, Jones. Well, now Salome, you, you put it together, and I gave you the scriptures of, you know, uh, 1535, 27, 56, Mark 6, 5. I gave you the scripture. That's Mary, the mother of Jesus. That's what they call James the Less. Who many say that's the writer of James the Epistle, which I don't believe. And brought sweet spices. <clears throat> Why? That they might come and anoint him for his burial. They didn't finish. It was, early, it was very early in the morning. 
on the first day of the week. You remember what the first day of the week in the creation was? Let there be light. You know what the light is? Not Jesus Christ. You know what the light is of the Baptist Catholic, Catholic Baptist Church? It's the sun. We got to finish church before noon. Because all the cars turn into pumpkins. It's a mighty fine Sunday. Uh, not if you're in the Bible, it's not. They came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. At the rising of the sun, that means they were walking on the Sabbath day. Boy, they didn't have no regard. <clears throat> sure weren't going to find the chief priest that early in the morning. And they said amongst themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone of the door of the sepulcher? So they're like, there's that big stone. Oh, by the way, what, Mary? Who's going to roll it for us? Now, don't know if they knew that there was keepers there. But why would the keepers help them? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. So, and they look up ahead, and it's, hey. Entering to the sepulcher. They saw, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in long white garment. <laughs> oh. And they were affrighted. Wait a minute. You're not here who we come to see. <laughs> who are you? You can't be an angel. You don't have wings. But angels don't have wings. That's the angel of the Lord. He's a young man. I assume maybe about 30 years old. If you know your Bible. And he said unto him, now remember when we Matthew said uh, the earthquake came and he's sitting on the stone. Here comes the women. You see, well, Matthew, they were outside the tomb. He could have been at the point where they're at the entrance of the tomb and he's in the tomb. So come on in. We'll see where, he, where the body is. I'm sitting on it right now. <laughs> Be not afraid, and ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. Boom, twice. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where he lay. And so here he is. He's inside, partially. He's inside. The women are partially there. Hey, come here and look. He's not here. There's no body here. Because the one they're talking to is Jesus. But go your way, tell his disciples, and Peter. Ooh, what happened to Peter there? Peter got kind of excluded. Remember what happened to Peter last week? He denied the Lord three times. That goeth before you into Galilee, there shall, he, there shall ye see him as he said unto you. And they went out quickly, fled from the, they fled from the sepulcher. That's how fast they're going. For they trembled and were amazed. Neither did they anything, neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, not Sunday, not Monday, not Tuesday, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he cast out seven devils. All right, so there's several instances of the empty tomb. One of them is Mary Magdalene. She went and told them that he had been with. She went and told them that had been with him, as they mourned and wept. Our Savior's dead. We all thought he was the man. And they, when they had heard that he was alive, you tell people about Jesus being alive? Mark 16, 11. And had been seen of her, they believed not. That's the disciples. James, Peter, James, and John. Hey, I just, I seen Jesus. 
Yeah, right. That's the disciples. After he appeared unto, in another form unto the two of them, as they walked, they went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believe they them. So here is three people has brought word that Jesus is alive at no, he's not. And you think you're going to go out there and you're going to tell the world that Jesus saves, Jesus is alive, he's been, he's died, he's been buried, and he rose again. You think all the world's going to believe you. The disciples didn't believe him. Okay? After he appeared unto the eleven, as they, eleven, that's minus Judas, as they sat at meat, he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart. I sent three people to you. What do you mean you didn't believe them? Didn't I tell you along the way they were gonna they were gonna I was gonna suffer, I was gonna be crucified, they're gonna kill me, then I'm gonna be risen the third day, three days. You didn't listen to me, and you didn't listen to the witnesses. He got mad. Now, remember that case we read in Matthew? You know, if you get mad without a cause, you're in danger. He just got mad at a cause. Because they believed not them which he sent after he was risen. That had been Mary Magdalene and the two that went on the road in Amazus. So be careful. Be very careful. When somebody tells you about the gospel and you don't believe it, Jesus gets mad. And they said unto him, okay, ready? Mark 16, 15. Go, Matthew said that, into the world. Matthew said nations. Big difference. Nations is Gentiles. The world is Gentile and Jews. Preach, not teach. The gospel to every creature. Now, you know why preachers love Matthew instead of Mark? Because they love to teach to a group of people who show up who want to be taught. Sort of. They don't pay attention anyway. They think they're doing God's service going to church. And I heard many preachers, and I know many preachers, as I have done. I've gone out in the streets anywhere and anywhere, and I have preached to people who do not want to hear the gospel. And you get yelled at, you get screamed at, you get the cops called on you, you get cussed at, and you get even Christians mad at you. A preacher won't do that. Because why would he... A man of the pulpit, go out on the street, go out somewhere where they don't want to hear about, where they can go to church and they could teach people who are there for that purpose. And there'll be people when you're, and keep it in the church house. No, because you won't be in the church house. That's why I'm out here preaching to you. So your average preacher would love to teach, but not preach. Especially your modern churches today. They surely don't preach. Preach the gospel. Now there are many uh, there are many preachers. I can tell you one right here in Florida. Oh, every every Sunday morning I always preach the gospel to, to the lost people. And I said, preacher. He goes, what? Everybody that's been in church on Sunday are saved, professing Christians. Why are you preaching to the goats when you got a bunch of sheep? Sheep don't get fed goat feed. You want to feed the goats? You want to feed the goat feed? You come out on the street and you come preach to the goats. By the way, Mark 16, 15 is not in your modern Bibles. From 16, 15 on, it's missing. It's ejected from the word of God. He that believes and baptized shall be saved. Believe, then baptize. Well, in Acts with the, with the Ethiopian unit, they removed the belief and went right to the baptism. 
Mark 16, 16 is not in your modern Bibles. The formula for sal salvation is believe, then baptize, shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Now, this is Jewish. Jews require a sign. This goes throughout the book of Acts as it gets lesser and lesser. To where even the Apostle Paul knows people in the ministry who are sick and dying and die and he can't heal them. To even Paul himself cannot heal his head that is removed from his body. And he had the signs. The signs start delivering down as you go away from the Jews to the Gentiles, but you never give up on the Jews. And the Pentecostals run here. In my name is how they cast out devils. Can that be done today? It can be. Problem is a lot of devils are in the church. They shall speak with new tongues. Is that possible in the church? That's tongues of languages. And our church is having a thing where we can help put Bibles translated into languages of people who've never had the written Bible. And I pray for that X thing, and I pray for the for the funding of all that work. And it's not blah, 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 you know, it's a language as Spanish, as Italian, as Mexican, as Portuguese, as, as any of the languages out there. That's what language. That's what tongues means. And as they go out in the Book of Acts, they're going to run into new languages. When the Europeans came to the, to the New World, they knew new languages, new tongues of the Native Americans. They shall take up serpents. I wouldn't do that today. There was a, there was a preacher did took up serpents, got bit, and died. Well, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Don't try that. Don't even think about trying that. There was an instructor that, that in a classroom, he, he, he had his student, he showed him, look, I turned water into wine like Jesus. And the student said, why don't you drink it? Well, I can't. It's deadly. Well, they drank what Jesus made. Again, transition out of the end of the Gospels, out of going through the book of Acts. As the nation of Israel is put on the shelf, not individuals, and we run to the Gentiles and stumbling block, the signs start fading away. They will come back in the tribulation period. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up in heaven, Acts chapter 1, and sat at the right hand of the right hand of God. That area is today. And they went forth and preached everywhere. You got that? Matthew said teach. Mark says preach, which is missing out of your modern Bible. The Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Amen, because they're dealing with Jewish people. Luke. Luke. 24. Now upon the first day of the week, you know, first day of the week, we know of a surety now of three Gospels on what day Jesus Christ arose, but we don't know what day he was born. You think it'd be important the day of the birth of Jesus. You think it would be Matthew, Mark, Luke would be put in, wouldn't you? Do you know it was the second Passover that the, that the, 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 the tabernacle that Moses set up was all set up and, put, and anointed? Very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared the day before the Sabbath. <laughs> Remember that? They, they fixed the, the, the spices, all that, 
on the sixth day, on the seventh day, they didn't do nothing. Certain others with him. And when they had found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, Matthew told us how, they entered in, Mark, and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. He said, well, where, where's, what's claiming? Hold on, Matthew and Mark. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. He said, well, Matthew said one, Mark said one. They focused on Matthew is the king of Israel, Jesus. There he is. The angel of the Lord in the Old Testament. There he is. Uh, Mark puts Jesus as the servant of God. There's no other servant but Jesus. John will put Jesus as God. Now we're at Luke, and there's two men. Luke would put Jesus as humility, as a man. Two men stood by them in shiny garments. Now, run back to the Old Testament. When they built the mercy seat, there was a cherubim and a cherubim. And in the middle was the mercy seat. Here we are where Jesus' body laid. Here's an angel. Here's an angel. In the midst is where God is. There's the mercy seat. Built by man. Luke. As they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said, and then they said, both, why seek ye the living among the dead? They came for a dead body. They didn't come for a living one. He is not here, but he's risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. All right, so, okay. You remember when, when the angels, the three angels showed up to Abraham? And they're talking, they're having a session and all that to take off to, to Sodom and Gomorrah. The one that stayed was God. But he was just like the other two. So you got two angels, and they're talking. One of them is Jesus, the angel of the Lord. They don't know no difference. And then the story of Luke is, this is the women telling it. They had no idea who they were talking to. It was Jesus, the angel of the Lord saying the Son of Man must be delivered in the hands of the sinful men. Now, 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 look at what Jesus is saying. I, I am quoting myself when I spoke to the disciples. See that? And be crucified, and the third day rise again. He said that over and over and over in his ministry. And they remember his words, finally. Oh, yeah, you did say that. And returned from the sepulcher and told these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. Well, you can remember Joseph Armenius was a disciple. Nicodemus was a disciple. And it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna. We didn't hear about her before. Mary, the mother of James. That's Mary, the mother of Jesus. And other women that were with them. So there's a whole bunch of women here. Which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seen them as tales. And they believe in, there it is, there's Mark. We seen Jesus. Oh no you didn't ladies. Shut up. Then arose Peter, ran to the sepulcher. Stooping down, he beheld the linen cloth where the linen cloths lay by themselves. Well, he's come for his body too, and departed and wondered himself at that which was come to bed. Where's the body? There's the clothes. He wasn't there when they buried him. 
Remember he took off in tears? Now he's, wait a minute. I just denied the Lord. I bitterly wept and left Jesus hanging. I don't mean to cry. Hanging out, you know, he's, he's being judged. Now, only thing there is left is And behold, two of them went the same day to a village called Aminus, which was about Jerusalem, about three, three score furlongs, 60. And they talked together all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, they're having a conversation. Hey, you know, they, they, this is what they did to Jesus and everything. What did you see? What did I say? And Jesus himself drew near. Oh, oh there's Jesus. And went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. So here is Jesus. Jesus. And they don't even know it's Je not the angel of the Lord. This is Jesus. And they don't even know who he is. Boy, they are just having a time with the resurrected Christ. And said unto him, what manner of communications are the these that you have one another as you walk? And I, now listen, come on, Jesus knew. Where art thou, Adam? What'd you do, Adam? And one of them said, whose name was Cleopas, answered and said unto him, Art thou a stranger in Jerusalem? Has that not known the things which are come to pass the last day, these days? He said, what things? <laughs> come on, G that's God. If you have read the Bible from Genesis, that's God. <laughs> And he wants you to repent. He wants you to declare. And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet. Okay. Now remember, this is Jesus. He's a prophet. Mighty indeed. Look, everything he did. And word before God and all the people. Now Jesus is listening to this. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death. That's what he told his disciples. And crucified him. That's what he told his disciples. Uh-oh. But we trusted that it had been he that should have redeemed Israel. I guess not. He wasn't the one. And they're speaking to the one they're talking about. And besides all this, today is the third day since these things have been done. So kind of way of saying, yeah, he said three days later he would rise, but he didn't come back. To, he, he, didn't, he didn't resurrect. You're talking to him. He had certain women, also the company with us, made us astonished, which, we, which were early at the sepulcher. When they found not his body, they came saying that they had not, they had seen, yeah, they had also seen visions of angels with no wings. Which said that he was alive. They were angels. They didn't have wings. They looked like men. 30 years old. They had shiny garments. And certain of them which were with us. Went to the sepulcher. Peter. And found it even so as the woman had said. But him they saw not. They didn't say Jesus. They saw the, the, the shroud. Then he said unto them. O fools. Slow of heart. To believe all that what the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things? There he goes again. And to enter into glory, his glory. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, Genesis, he expounded unto him all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. So you can take the scriptures, the, the law and the the law and the prophets, and you can show the Jews this is the Messiah, because this is Jesus doing it. And they drew nigh to the village where they went, and he had made he made as though he would have gone first. In other words, here they are. Here they're going to turn into this village. Jesus is going to go on, like that time they were in the boat. He would have passed them. But they constrain him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent, and he went in to tally with it. So listen, there are times that, you know what? 
if you don't invite Jesus, he's not going to come. He's going to move on. And he may be knocking on your church door. It may get to the point, okay, they don't want me. See ya. And it came to pass as they sat at meat with him, he took bread and blessed it, break, and gave it to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn with us while he yet talked with us by the way, while he opened to us the scriptures? You weren't ready. You thought he was the dying lost Savior. They rose up the same hour, returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together. Here we go. And then that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed. The gospel. Jesus died. He suffered. He, he was buried. He's risen. And has appeared to Simon. And they told what things that were done in the way and how he was known unto them breaking the bread and as they spanked Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to peace be unto you but they were terrified and afraid and exposed that they had seen a spirit they don't believe here's the ghost of Jesus Your Baptist church would say the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of pre Christmas pre present, and the ghost of Christmas yet to be. The fact is they thought he was a ghost, a spirit, and they didn't believe. And he said to them, why are you troubled? Why do your thoughts arise in your hearts, not head? Behold my hands and my feet, that is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones. So he is flesh, he is bones, he's not Casper the friendly ghost, as he seen me have. And as he had spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. Now there, uh, I think it's Acts. Is he actually going to, we're going to stop right there. Either John or Acts says over four, no, P Paul says, and one of the right, over 400 people witnessed the resurrected Christ. We have three women. We have Mary Magdalene. We have a Joanna. We have the two men going to Emmaus. We have the keepers. We have the 11, and we have 40 days that Jesus, and now the, the bodies of the of many of the saints, they're all walking around Jerusalem. Until Acts chapter 1, he's ascending into heaven. And there's all kinds of wild and crazy you know he didn't die he was just passed out and when they put him on the slab the cold slab and he woke up and you know just outright like the sadducee there was no resurrection and all that but don't you think you're going to go out there you're going to tell everybody death burial and resurrection you're going to preach that like mark says and everybody's going to believe you the own disciples didn't believe him And they had the women, and they had these two men telling them, more than three. And it, but that, as far as closing Matthew, pick up Mark. Matthew pictures Jesus as the Jewish king. It's all, now Mark's going to be all, all Jewish too. You can't go running to Matthew with your church age doctrine because it's not for the church. It's that plain and simple. Now that we are on this side of Calvary, the New Testament, let's go back to Matthew, the book that we're in, we'll take care of Matthew 27. I'll show you where the New Testament began. 
Matthew 27. In Matthew 27, verse 50. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Matthew 27, 51 begins the New Testament. Testament does not begin unto the death of the testator, Hebrews. When Jesus died, the testament. You can't read the will, reading of the will while someone's alive. When the veil is rent in Matthew, Jewish, it's the New Testament. Out with the old, in with the new. That's why you got to get all Matthew Jewish, because that's a very important thing. Ma Matthew 27, 50. Actually, Matthew, Matthew 27, 49, all the way to Genesis 1 is Old Testament. Matthew 27, 50, Jesus dies. Matthew 27, 51, book of Acts and all the epistles and all that. Don't put in the Gospels yet. Is New Testament. So to say your Bible said, you know, you go to Matthew, just the page before Matthew 21, Matthew 1, that page before it says the New Testament. No, it's not. No, it's not. As soon as Jesus dies, now we have. And the marking of the New Testament of the Gospel of Matthew is. The veil in the temple has been rent in twin. What a wonderful start for the New Testament. 